Hello friends, this video on body fluids and circulation part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. But there are a few questions in mind. Now, what is the role of the nodal tissues in the beating movement of heart? Okay, we got to know that some impulses get generated. They get conducted to different parts of the heart. But how does that cause the beating of the heart? That is still not very clear. Now, the question is, how does the heart beat? The most interesting thing which we want to know. Alright, so now we will see what, how does the heart beat. So let us now try to understand the process of cardiac contraction. How the nodal tissues help in the cardiac contraction. Now what is cardiac contraction? It is the rate at which heart conducts impulses. Now the rate at which the heart conducts impulses is the rate at which the heart will beat because it is basically the impulse which actually tells yeah, each part or each chamber of the heart to contract. For example, when the impulse is uh, initiated in the auricles, it tells the auricle to contract, the, con the auricle contracts. Then the signal gets transmitted or the impulse reaches the ventricles and then it tells the ventricles to contract. So the ventricles contract. So the process will be something like first the auricles contract, after some time the ventricles contract, again the auricles contract, again the ventricles contract. So it's like a process, a successive series of contraction, relaxation, contraction, relaxation. So that is how it happens. And this contraction and relaxation actually results in heartbeat. Now the heart beats without any input from the nervous system. As I said, that is the speciality of the nodal tissues because we don't need any sort of input from the nervous system for the heart to beat, right? The electrical activity of SA node makes this possible. So this is the most important thing as well as the most unique thing about SA node and that is why it is known as pacemaker. Right? So it is due to the presence of this SA load that there is no dependency on the nervous system for the heart, for the automatic beating of the heart. Now impulse which is generated at SA node reaches the AV node. As I said, SA node is present in the auricles. So from auricle it reaches to the lower side of the auricle where AV node is present. Now once it reaches the AV node, now, there is a delay involved, right? It takes some time to reach from SA node to AV node. Now, as soon as the impulse gets generated in the auricles, it sends a signal to the auricles to get contracted. So, this causes a contraction of the auricles. Now, generation of this impulse results in the contraction of auricles. Contraction of auricles. Now after this, the signal from AV node, it passes through the AV bundles and then to the, through the bundle of His. Now the impulses which reaches down the ventricles, they are delayed by almost one tenth of a second. And this delay is contributed by the AV node because from SA node to AV node, there are some delay which is involved. So that is the function of the AV node that it relays as well as delays the impulses that is the function of AV node. So after this the AV node send the impulses down the AV bundle which in turn reaches the ventricles because from AV bundle you have the Purkinje fibers and the Purkinje fibers are almost into the ventricles. So once the signal reaches the Purkinje fibers it is like reaching the ventricles and once they reach the ventricles they ask the ventricles to contract. So this causes this will cause contraction of the ventricles. So now if this process keeps continuing, this generation of impulse and then conduction of the impulse to the ventricles, then this process of contraction will also continue. First the auricles will contract. Now when first the auricles contract, the ventricles are still relaxed. After that the ventricles will contract, so then the auricles will be relaxed and then again the process will keep on repeating. So this successive steps of contraction and relaxation results in the heartbeat and that is how the heart beats. Now it is not only the nodal tissues which play a role in the process of heartbeat but it is like 
a combined effort of the nodal tissues as well as the valves because the valves also should open and close at the right time. So the valves, the nodal tissues as well as the uh, blood vessels, all of them together actually uh, contribute to the functioning of the heart. Now another important point which I would like to mention here is that when we talked about the nodal tissues, now if you look at it, you will see that more importance is given to SA node because they initiate the electrical impulse. Now this ability to generate action potentials or electrical impulse is present not only in the SA node, in other nodes also, other nodal tissues also, but the action potential that could be generated in a minute, in one minute, vary at different parts of the nodal system. Somewhere it is generated at a very high rate, somewhere it is generated at a very low rate and it has been found that in the SA node, maximum number of action potentials can be generated in one minute. That is almost 70 to 75 action potentials can be generated in a minute. That means almost these many impulses can be generated. So if 70 to 75 action potentials are generated, that means that many times it can cause the auricle to contract, that many times it can cause the ventricles to contract. So that many times it can cause the heart to beat in one minute. And that is why our heart also beats almost around uh, 70 to 75 times per minute. I mean, depending upon the age of the individual and uh, the health of the individual. So that is why SAN or SA node initiates the rhythmic contractile activity of the heart. So we say that SA node initiates the rhythmic contractile activity of heart. Right, so SA node plays a very very crucial role in cardiac contraction. So now just look at this figure and try to understand how the impulse generation and impulse conduct conduction help in cardiac contraction. Just see here, just observe it very closely. So if you see in the upper two chambers are the auricles, right? So if you see here, first the signal gets generated at this point. This point, somewhere here, yes, that is the SA node, then it goes here which is the AB node and from there it gradually goes to all the bundle of his which is present throughout the ventricles. So initially when the signal gets initiated here and it reaches here, so from by this time when the signal travels from here to here, it contracts, the auricles contract. After that when the signal reaches here, this causes the ventricles to contract. So when the ventricles contract, the auricles get relaxed. So you see the auricles and ventricles are getting contracted and relaxed due to this signal which is uh, actually getting conducted from auricles to the ventricles. So in this picture you can actually see that the contraction and expansion it is not only because of the signal but it, there this valves also play an important role because you can see the valves are also opening and closing depending upon all this. So when you talk about the cardiac cycle, the first role is played by the nodal tissues because they only tell the chambers to contract. If they do not send the electric impulses, then the chambers will not contract and if the auricles and ventricles do not contract, then the opening and closing of the valves will not happen. So the entire process will stop. The heartbeat will stop. Okay, so with this... Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.